Hi there, welcome back here. It's my pleasure to have you on my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Mina and please click on that subscribe button below and hit the bell to get a notification for new uploads. Today I have lots of brand new alternatives for you to use in your daily conversation. You may sound more fluent and professional if you avoid repeating the same expressions every day. I mean, I have my pen and notebook ready. Let's get started. <laughs> I love your excitement to learn new things. I want to ask for the first alternative. What do you suggest instead of saying good morning? Yeah. Are you tired of saying good morning every day? Instead, you can say rise and shine 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 wait i have another alternative to top of the morning to you top of the morning to you top of the morning to you say it energetic to spread happiness in the morning you can also say happy Sunday, happy Monday, happy plus whatever day of the week it is. Happy Sunday, let's make it a good day. Or happy Saturday, let's make it a good day. Mm, I love it. Saying these phrases in the morning can make me feel better. Yeah, ask me. Save them for tomorrow morning. Spread happiness and positivity to your friends or co-workers. Are you ready for the next set of alternatives? Picture this situation. Your best friend has a job interview or an exam tomorrow morning. What do you tell her? Mm, good luck? Yes, right. But let's make it different. There are a lot of ways to say good luck. Like wishing you lots of luck. Wishing you lots of luck. Wishing you lots of luck. <laughs> Yes. Or you can say, you'll do great. You'll do great. I trust you. Or I hope things go well. I hope things go well. I hope things go well for you. Or I hope things will work out all right. I hope things will work out all right. I hope things will work out all right. Oh. Oh, these are perfect. I can show how much I believe in my friend. Exactly. You can also say, you're going to be amazing. You're going to be amazing. You're going to be amazing. Or, best of luck. Best of luck. Best of luck. Short and quite impressive. If you want to support more, you can say, I'll be thinking of you. Don't worry, you'll succeed. I'll be thinking of you. No worries, you'll succeed. Or, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. No worries, you'll succeed. These are perfect ways to say good luck to your friend. It's your best friend's birthday. I know this. I say, congratulations, it's your birthday. <coughs> no, never say congratulations on someone's birthday. Um, I just know happy birthday and it's too cliche. Uh, yeah, kind of. You can say, Happy level up. Happy level up. Happy level up. Of course, it's a bit funny and of course, informal. You can also say, it was a tough year, but you made it. Or, you survived another year. You survived another year. As you've guessed, they are not something that you can tell anyone. Okay, let's make it a bit uh, formal. I hope you can get everything you wished for. 
I hope you can get everything you wished for. It's like, may all your wishes come true. May all your wishes come true. May all your wishes come true. And if you are in your friend's birthday party, you can say, I hope your celebration gives you many good memories. Take a moment and repeat it. I hope you have an awesome day and a beautiful year ahead. I hope you have an amazing birthday. May your day be as perfect as you are. A lot of us share a post on our birthdays on social media. And we all have that one friend who comments this. Oh, my friend, if you don't have enough time to type happy birthday, don't even bother commenting. Of course, that's my personal idea. What do you think? Share your idea right now. Instead of this, you can type many happy returns. Many happy returns. All the best on your special day. All the best on your special day. A million magic wishes for you. A million magic wishes for you. Oh, Mina, I can say you really saved me this time. I have a lot of cool things to say to my friends on their birthdays. Oh, great. Now imagine you're at work and explaining something to your coworker. To make sure if they get you or understand you, you can say, Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Am I clear enough? Am I clear enough? Am I clear enough? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Hmm, good alternatives. So if my coworker asks, uh, am I clear enough? And if I haven't understood everything well, I would say, no. Oh, stop. Are you serious? No. It's not a good way to say you don't understand. You'd better say, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Would you repeat what you said? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Would you repeat what you said? It's a very polite way to ask your coworker to repeat. Or you can say, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Would you repeat that for me, please? Yes, better. I'm sorry, I'm lost. Would you repeat that for me, please? How about this one? Oh, I'm not following you. Can you repeat it, please? Oh, I'm not following you. Can you repeat it, please? I'm not following you. Can you repeat it, please? As long as you ask nicely, the person will explain again for you. Once you fully understand, say, Oh, I see. Thanks. Of course, I've told you some alternatives for the word thank you. You can find them in this video. What is it? Uh, mm, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's a very common expression to say when you forget something. You can also say, uh, what's that word? Hang on a second. What's that word? Hang on a second. What's that word? Hang on a second. Ah, hang on a second. It means wait a second. Yes, that's what it means. Imagine you're in the middle of a conversation and you forget a word. Oh my God. Oh, relax. 
don't panic don't panic it's totally fine to forget a vocabulary don't stop your conversation try explaining the word maybe the other person can guess what you wanted to say if they could understand what you mean lucky you move on if not don't lose your confidence try again of course i have some tips here in this video on how to remember new vocabularies go on watch them and tell me your ways to learn new vocabularies comment them below This is the worst thing you can do during a conversation. Silence. Silence kills the conversation. If you have no ideas, if nothing comes to your mind, buy some time for yourself and think. Oh, but how? Be honest and say, that's a good question. Let me think. That's a good question. Let me think. That's a good question. Let me think. Or give me a second to think about it. Give me a second to think about it. Give me a second to think about it. Mm, that's tricky. I've never been asked that before. Mm, that's tricky. I've never been asked that before. It means no one had asked me that question before. Let me teach you another way to buy even more time. Mm, I've never thought about that before. What do you think? Or I've never thought about that before. What's your take? In this way, you are throwing the ball into their court. They start talking about their ideas and thoughts, which gives you enough time to think and come up with some ideas. Mm, that's intelligent. I loved it. I've told you at the beginning of this video, I teach you good things today. But that's enough for today. I'm tired and I need to go to bed. Good night. Oh, hang on a second, Mina. This time, I want to teach you different ways to say good night. <laughs> okay, I'm all ears. It means I'm listening to you. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Go on. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams, sweet dreams, sleep tight, sleep tight, sleep tight, have a good sleep, have a good sleep, have a good sleep. Excellent. Let me continue with this one. Good night, sleepy head. Good night, sleepy head. Good night, sleepy head. It's time to hit the sack. It's time to hit the sack. It's time to hit the sack. It's time to start counting sheep. It's time to start counting sheep. It's time to start counting sheep. Well done. This is the end of our lesson today. Did you write down the new vocabularies in this lesson? If yes, all you have to do now is to repeat, repeat and repeat. The ball is in your court. Practice using these words in your daily conversation to sound more fluent. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye-bye.